on La Biostetique Sam at the beginning of the cross country course. Mike, let's go round this course with Michael Young. Yes, a young man, 27 years old, former young rider, European champion, on this horse that first jumped to prominence when he won a World Cup round in Fontainebleau at the beginning of the 2008 season and then finished off that season by going very well in the World Cup final to finish fifth behind, of course, Clayton Fredericks. A horse that's at this level for the very first time, but a lot of expected. It went well in the dressage. Uh, Michael Young had a dressage of 47, 14th, quite close enough. Incidentally, Mike, this is his first four-star as well, Michael Young. So, a first for horse and rider. There, the first double combination. Two very sharp corners there, but he rode it well. Now this fence where uh, Oliver Towner had a problem. Yes, a new field on this uh, Le Moulin course, and it's a very intense set of efforts from fence six to fence uh, nine. It's a new dedicated track which they can uh, work on year in, year out. It's a huge improvement on this uh, very good venue here in Germany. Michael Jung, who comes from Stuttgart, very much trained by his family, but has uh, had a lot of good advice from the team boss, Chris Bartle, and he's going very positively. The time on the course, 10 minutes 23, as he comes to 11. It's not written easy, and he's the first one to go the direct route and make it look pretty straightforward. Rides in a lovely rhythm, good balance, and certainly on time at the moment. He's the first we've seen anywhere near that. Now, fence 13 in the woodland, just a little skinny there. We had our camera out there to, to catch him over that fence as they came now to the second water complex at 15. Very much traditional uh, Le Moulin territory, these woods. A lot of fences in the woods. But now this other water, big jump in. Over the fence that gave Kai Ruder a lot of problems. And they're riding very well and very confident. And isn't he delighted? Now, Mike, this uh, set of fences in the arena really causing problems. First, the fence 20, the three elements... Nobody has gone straight so far successfully. Over the first, left, left, brilliant. Absolutely made it look so easy. And believe you me, that isn't. And then these two really, really tight corners, very acute angles. And he's got such a lovely rhythm, hasn't he? He has, and he's riding totally in control, good body position. And he's got the horse and rider between hand and leg and making absolutely full use of it. So now out onto the last loop of the course. He's got most of the difficult combinations out of the way. Lovely, big, inviting fence there as he gallops on up the hill to the last water complex. And it's the interesting thing, Jamie, that Mark has done as we see again those uh, fences that come so close together in the main arena. And he's the first one to do it. Yes, Michael Young going so well on this such attractive horse. Tom Chris now for the Great Britain Liberal first four star. He went clear but slowly and completed the competition. Now Michael Young coming to the last water complex. Three, four, and one, two, three, and over the out. And this horse is flying, absolutely flying. And he's up on the clock as well, just the last few fences to go. As we see, sitting out on the cross-country course for Italy, Gianluca Gardini on Lion Dancer. Disappointing dressage at 69.2, 35th out of 36. Here he is at fence two, but he would go well too and jump round without fault, but with quite a few time penalties. Paul Tapner now for Australia. I know nothing. Experienced horse going well at first fence 13. As Michael Young comes to the last few fences, watch the clock on the right-hand side. 10.23 is the time. And I think with our bar disaster, he's going to make it, Mike. Yes. What is interesting about this course, the uh, course designer Mark Phillips has taken nearly a minute off, but he's still got 43 jumping efforts. So the intensity is really strong indeed. And this man has dealt with it better than anyone so far by a long way. And he comes inside quite easily on this uh, horse that's so impressive, La Biestetek Katam, and uh, that is going to take some time to come. There has to be a German winner here at Le Moulin. Now, Michael Young, he has come onto the world stage in style.
quite classic round just today. Now, can he finish it off? Was uh, down in 14th place after dressage, but the uh, man from Stuttgart has climbed right up to finish uh, just less than a fence behind the leader, Andreas Dabowski, a very experienced Dabowski. And the rain's now falling, so that just adds to the drama. This horse, at the moment, is making a lovely shape over the fences, isn't he? He has been classic since day one. Disappointing in the dressage, because he can do that. But ever since then, as you rightly say, the horse has done it in classic style. Trained by his... Uh, it's very much a family concern. Opted out of the uh, German uh, scheme for performance uh, management. For his parents to manage him, and they've certainly done it well. Chris Bartle has had quite an influence of where the rider should go to develop his skills in terms of competing and it certainly has shown to very good effect here he's been talked off for the last two years but this is when the combination come of age nine years old this horse the former young rider european champion looking to come very good indeed for the germans close home now keeps his nerve the horse keeps his technique and his style. He's put the pressure on the leader, Andres Dabowski, who's going to have to go clear to win now. Is that good enough for Michael Young's first German title at four-star level? Yeah, first time at a four-star, and he's in the lead. And wasn't that a classic round? Beautifully ridden, the horse jumped in a perfect style, never touched a twig, and that was real perfection in the show jumping phase. So Andreas Dabowski now, he knows what he's got to do, he's got to jump clear. Been there before. Now, can he do it again? The 10th Duke of Beaufort set up badminton 60 years ago to improve Britain's skills and strength and depth. That worked. The Germans set up Le Moulin five years ago at this level four star first time and they are getting stronger and stronger world and olympic champions now can they get a one two three for the first time here in le moulin at four star level gotta be clear to win if he has one down he would stay second but if he has another he'll start dropping down Keeping his cool. He's very, very experienced. He's ridden Olympic world and European and the major four stars. Oh, he's not going to win it. It's Michael Young who clinches the title. There's a family celebration already in the rain. Now, Andreas wants to stay clear the rest of the way home. And Germany have got two more very good trump cards for their attempt at the European Championships in Fontainebleau in September. What a prospect that's going to be. Coming for home on 49.3. Over those two little imitation water ditches, those out of the way. It is just the four. He'll be disappointed not to win it. He's never won a big competition at world-class level, particularly in his homeland. It's not to be, but a very, very good win in style by Michael Jung. Yes, Michael Jung makes it a 1-2-3 for Germany for Andreas Dabowski with Dirk Schrader in third. Mary King, the best of the overseas Raiders, in fourth on 53.7. And in the standings after three rounds of the HSBC FEI Classics, Oliver Townend still at the head of the leaderboard. He didn't score at all here in Germany, but it's now very tight with just two rounds to go. So we had a quick word with the victor after the show jumping. This is a wonderful feeling. That's my first four-star event. We are together very young. Obviously, I always hope that the health is the most important issue. And then when you win the competition, that's something I really feel overjoyed and really, really lucky. So three different winners of the first three legs of the HSBC FEI Classic Series. It's all set up perfectly for Burley and Poe in the autumn. I hope you've enjoyed these highlights.